Good morning. Wow, this is amazing. Thank you so much for coming. You realize if it wasn't for all of you in this room here today, I'd be here all by myself. <laughs> That's kind of scary <laughs> and lonely too. Um, I thought to honor you, what we'd do, we'd start with this table over here, and we'll go around the room, and everyone can stand up, and if you'll say your name and where you're from, <laughs> that'll work. Um, the, head table, oh, yeah. <laughs> the head table's give me a signal, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that. <laughs> um, how many notice the uh, baseball hats on your, on your chair? Well, there's a reason for that, and it's a much different reason than what uh, our CEO, Steve Zabilski, thinks. After the um, breakfast, we're having softball tryouts. <laughs> Two years ago, we moved Steve from left field into third base because he couldn't make the throw. Last year, we moved him over to second base because he couldn't make the throw. <laughs> and this year, <laughs> he's having trouble making the throw from first base. So <laughs> anyway, we're going to clear the tables and have some uh, tryouts. I've been with St. Vincent de Paul for It'll be 20 years in July. And because of the generosity of the people like yourselves in this room and others, we've come a long way baby. Back in the day, if a patient came in with an abscess tooth, we'd have to take it out. Today, we can do a root canal on that tooth. Previously, if a patient came in with a large decay, we'd put in a huge filling and, and pray that it would stay in. And today, we can put a crown on that tooth. We had children coming through our clinic with tremendous orthodontic problems, and today we can provide braces for these kids. People who have dentures that can't wear them because of the deterioration of their, of their jaw uh, bone, today we can do implants and help those people. Because of the generosity of people like yourselves, we're able to take this and do this. We're able to take this. A boy just had one front tooth. He was going through high school, one front tooth, and it was trapped up in the roof of, roof of his mouth. And we were able to do this. Because of your generosity, we're able to take this and do this. We're able to take this <laughs> and do this. <laughs> <laughs> all because of you, all because of you. Um, we had a young girl with a cleft, she was born with a cleft, and we were able to take this and do this. And this is that young girl when she first came to our clinic. And here she is today. Please help me welcome Miss Denitza. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for um, coming. Uh, how old were you when that picture was taken? Um, about 10. About 10. Um, do I look any different? <laughs> uh, don't answer that. Oh. <laughs> Um, how did you feel about yourself back then? Um, I felt like I was different than everybody else. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. okay. That's pretty hard, yeah. And, and we know, yeah, we know the story. And um, yeah, and uh, so we're so happy that you found us and we found you. And so um, we got her into our program. We took care of her cavities. We were able to um, start the orthodontic treatment, but then we got to a point where we could go no further because of the cleft. We had to repair it before we could go on. And operating room uh, time in hospitals is very, very expensive, so we were at a standstill. But it's amazing at St. Vincent de Paul how just at the right moment things drop into our lap. And I was riding into work one day, and I happened to hear on the uh, radio that the Shriners Hospital people from Los Angeles were going to be at County Hospital in Phoenix. And so, uh, and if you had children who needed surgeries, bring them over, they would screen them and see if they qualified. So you and your mom and I and Betsy, one of our assistants, we went over there and they had the clowns and everything, remember that? Yeah. <laughs> and I wanted to hang out and you said, Doc, quit clowning around, I gotta get back to school, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I did and uh, they accepted you. And so you went over to LA, Los Angeles, and what happened there? Um, I took a piece of bone from my hip to repair my cleft lip. 
And that's a, that's a pretty serious operation. She's a brave girl. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> now, here's the neat part. This summer, she returned to the clinic, uh, not just for her dental checkup, but can you tell them why? Um, to train, to become a dental assistant. How about that. <laughs> and to help, to help other people. Um, you talk about the ripple effect. Thanks so much for coming, Denitza, yeah. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> you can go ahead and go there. All because of you. Um, most people think of the dental clinic, you know, as fixing teeth and showing people how to brush and floss. But how many of you did not know, let's see a show of hands, we also have a dental assisting program at St. Vincent de Paul. Let's see a show of hands. Well, don't feel bad because I didn't uh, know either until they gave me this script about 15 minutes ago, but um, it, it seems that we do. <laughs> But uh, actually, in conjunction with uh, a wonderful partner, the Live and Learn program, we're able to help women who are victims of domestic violence, and we work with several shelters in the valley. And they come in, and it's a six-month program, and it's clinical and classwork. And we train them um, not only you know, to get back into society and not just to have a job, but to have dignity and a career. And I have uh, one of our graduates here with me this morning. Please help me welcome Miss Stephanie. <laughs> Let me switch gears here for just a second. Oh, there we go. Good to have it. Uh, yet, uh, wow, I'm so excited that you're here today. I'm so proud of you. What was your life like um, before coming to St. Vincent de Paul? Well, it was in a rough state. I was living at a domestic violence shelter. Um, I left everything I had behind, and I needed to start over. I was broken and more than a little lost. And uh, what's your life like now? It's amazing. <laughs> I went, I'm a full-time dental assistant. I spend my days helping people be healthy and free of pain. My son and I have an absolutely beautiful apartment downtown. Um, and my wage not only allowed me to rebuild, but to thrive. Wow. Thank you so much. And uh, what would you like to say to the uh, people out there? It's not possible to express the amount of gratitude that I have your generosity and the hard work and dedication of everyone at St. Vincent de Paul not only gave me a top-notch education that led to immediate employment, but you gave me hope, hope for a future of self-sufficiency. You gave me courage to trust myself and those around me, and you gave me dignity for being part of a community allows me to give back. It makes me a part of something bigger than myself something I can give back to in return. So thank you so very much, and keep up the good fight, because it's working. Because of your generosity, not only can we help people like Stephanie and um, Denitza, but for the year 2015, we will do somewhere between two and a half and three million dollars of dentistry at our clinic for the needy people in our community. And uh, as always, be true to your teeth, and they won't be false to you. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming.